Hey guys, so today I'm going to be answering questions from the TMI tag and I've been putting this video off for two weeks now because I just felt weird sitting down and talking about myself. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I get like really flustered and nervous. <laughs> so I have the list of questions right here and I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. So, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a blazer and a top both from Love Culture and I bought this maybe three years ago. I've been wearing this blazer for such a long time now I just feel like it makes me look like a businesswoman. Um, have you ever been in love? Yes I have. Yes I have. Love is a very beautiful thing. Um, have you ever had a terrible breakup? Oh my god. <laughs> when I was like 16 or 17, um, my then boyfriend went to college because he was like two years older. It was like the month that he had, the month after he left, Things were just rocky because he just didn't like to talk on the phone with me and uh, I don't know, our lives were going in different ways but anyway, it was such a bad breakup. Um, I didn't handle it well and I was the one who actually um, initiated the breakup. We were fighting for a long time and you know, even before he left we were fighting and I just felt like it was becoming very unnatural. I was with him for five years and I was 17 or 16 and I just didn't... I was 16 and I just didn't feel like tying myself down and I still think about how bad this was because every time I think about it I just kind of cringe. He you know blocked me and he stopped talking to me because I initiated the breakup. Long story short, I went to his house. I think it was four months after the breakup when he came back during um, winter break. I literally, like a crazy woman, I broke in his house and I was trying to talk to him because I just wanted to apologize about everything that happened. And he was hiding in a pile of laundry. Like he, he didn't want to talk to me at all. I feel like when you're with someone for such a long time, that kind of stuff, is it's so hard to shake. Like even when I talk about it now, it just brings up really bad memories. So yeah, that was the worst, most terrible breakup. I never, I would never wish that upon any of my enemies. Not that I have any, but you know what I mean. Like, I would never, ever want anyone to feel the way I felt during that year of my life. It was just, it was hell. How tall are you? I am 4'11 and a half, and the half is very important because I am a tiny, tiny, short person. And every inch counts. How much do you weigh? I weigh 135. Any tattoos? I have four tattoos. I have a giant thigh piece, which I'm not going to show you, but it's Shenron from Dragon Ball Z because I just felt like, you know, I've been watching Dragon Ball Z and it's a badass show. And I like Shenron. I hope he makes all my wishes come true because he's tatted on me now. And then I have something on my... Uh, my side that says Passion Over Consequence is my first tattoo, and then I have this little baby right here, which is um, a peace sign, a heart, a colon, and if anyone knows what the colon means, you know, it's very special to people who have them tattooed on them. It, it means, you know, you have the opportunity to end a sentence, but you choose not to, and it's about, you know, like suicide prevention and stuff like that. It really means a lot to me. Um, and it's a treble clef and a bass clef put together with peace and love because uh, music is just a very big part of me. You know, when I get really sad and all that kind of stuff, I, I always turn to music. I sing. Like, it's nobody's business. Like, I'm so annoying when I sing. I will literally annoy you with my singing. And I just feel like it's something that I run to when I feel weak. Music brings out the strength in me, so I got that. I designed this tattoo and I got it on my shoulder. It was very, very, very like, hey, are you guys open? Can you do a tattoo kind of thing? Like, it was crazy. This um, mandala and an Anahata chakra, which basically means, you know, um, well, to me, it means wearing your heart on your sleeve. So I'm wearing my heart on my shoulder, which means, um, I'm trying not to internalize my emotions because growing up that's kind of been a problem of mine. Like all my tattoos have a lot of meaning and you know even Shenron has a lot of meaning to me and my side has so much meaning to me but this one I feel like I connect to it so emotionally. Like when I look at it not only is it oh badass but it's a reminder to myself to stop like when I get into my negative feelings and my negative thoughts I'm just like stop like think about Think about something else. Get out of your head right now. So. 20 piercings. Ah, I have my nipples pierced. But, but tragically, 
they fell out, so they closed up very quickly. Um, it's a sad, it was a sad day. I have the earring holes that every girl my age has, and then I have these two that my best friend Taylor did. When I think about it, it just kind of makes me laugh because we got the piercing gun from Walmart, and she was like, hey, do you want your ears pierced today? And I was like, yeah, sure. But like, I don't know, maybe it's because it was just the adrenaline, because I think I had just, I had just done something. I think I just got a tattoo. No, I got my nose pierced. Yes. The pain of the first, like, insertion was really, it was like burning. So I was just like, oh, I froze, and then my best friend goes, I need you to man up right now, and I need you to hold this piercing in. And I'm like, okay. OTP. Oh my god. Sasuke and Sakura from Naruto. If you don't watch Naruto, you need to. Like, I grew up with anime and all that. Where's the doll? I have her. Where's Sakura? Where's she? I love Naruto that much. I literally am obsessed with Sakura. Like, she's just... Like, she was so weak during part one of Naruto, and then all of a sudden in Shippuden, she just becomes like this monstrous, badass woman, and I just feel like she's a great character. Even though a lot of people say that she's not, talk to me, and I will argue with you all day about how great of a character she is. I'm literally obsessed. I don't like Sasuke, but together I really like them, and I'm so happy that they end up together and they have a child princess. I've been obsessed with them since I was nine years old, so it's been ten years in the making, and I'm just so happy with how it came. So happy. So, so happy. Favorite show. What is your favorite show? Um, I love The Office. I actually have The Office playing right over here without any volume. Who are your favorite bands? <sighs> Man, I don't really listen to bands now. I mean, currently? Or like before? Well, okay, when I was 13, I was really obsessed with Avenged Sevenfold. Something you miss. I miss my boyfriend. Favorite song, Skyscraper by Demi Lovato. Anytime I listen to it, I start crying, and then like, I just feel like a new woman. You can take everything I have, <laughs> but you're not gonna knock me down. And that's why I love that song, because it has such a beautiful message. It means, you know, no matter how much people try to bring you down, it's up to you to get yourself back up. And that's what I love about it. How old are you? I'm 19, and I'm starting to feel very old. Zodiac sign, I'm a Taurus. I know that's supposed to mean that I'm stubborn, and I agree with it. I agree with it 100%. Quality, you look for a partner. Oh, this is so easy. Um, I always say that I'm a very goal-oriented person. Like, my friends, if you ask them what kind of person I am, I'm like, like, if I get an idea in my head, it's literally all or nothing. Like, which is a problem because sometimes I abandon old ideas and I come back to them. But, like, when I have something in mind, I'm just like, yeah, let's go after it. And I want a guy. I mean, I have a guy who's like that. But, like, when I look for... Before Alec, I really wanted a boyfriend who kind of matched my intensity. Like, I want so much for myself. I want a guy who wants so much for himself, too. Like, I want someone with goals, aspirations. I want them to get up in the morning and do whatever they need to do. I don't want a bum. My boyfriend is the perfect example of that. He literally is like, okay, Michaela, we have to go to the gym. We gotta go to church. We gotta go to school. Let's do homework together, blah, 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 blah. Like, he is just so good. I love it. Favorite quote. Oh, my God. I'm just gonna pull it up right now because my friend sent it to me. The most dangerous risk of all is the risk of spending your life not doing what you want on the bet that you can buy yourself the freedom to do it later. Now, my best friend Sam sent me this and it's my favorite quote as of the moment. I just decided to get into theater again and I used to do theater in high school but I stopped when I get into college when I got into college because I just felt discouraged. Okay, favorite actor. My favorite actor is Diana DeGarmo from Hairspray on Broadway because she has a beautiful voice and she just has this energy about her and the way she can change up her personalities and voices so quickly. I love her. I love her, I love her, I love her. Favorite color. My favorite color is gray. The loud music or soft music, it really depends on my mood. Where do you go when you're sad? I'm not gonna be specific about this because when I get sad, I just wanna be left alone. So literally anywhere where I am alone. Um, how long does it take for you to shower? 45 minutes. How long does it take for you to get ready in the morning? One hour and 30 minutes, including breakfast. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes. Victoria, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I bit your arm when we were 14 years old. I was stupid. 
turn-ons. I really like a guy who has muscles. No, just kidding. I like a guy, like before, like I said, I just, I like someone who has passion, who has the desire to do well for themselves. And my turn off is exactly the opposite of that. Like, I just don't like someone who complains about something in their life and doesn't actively try to make a difference. It makes me very angry. The reason I joined YouTube. I joined YouTube because I wanted to have fun on YouTube. No, I joined YouTube because uh, Kathleen Lights and Carly Bible and Jacqueline Hill, they are... Such big inspirations for me. They really know how to connect with their audience and they do it with just being themselves. And I like the entertainment business, I like theater, I like music, I like all that stuff. I like that there is a connection between the person and their audience. And I love YouTube because I feel like I can be myself. I'm, I'm just talking in front of a camera, but like, this is very natural for me. That's why I joined YouTube, just because it's a natural setting for me and I... I wanted to do something fun. What are your fears? Fear is incompetence in my adult life. Last thing that made you cry. My long distance relationship. Last time you said you loved someone. Um, about half an hour ago when I texted my boyfriend I loved him. Meaning behind your YouTube name. It means I am too lazy to change it into something creative. No, my YouTube name is just my name because I wanted it to be easy in case anyone really wanted to find me. Like if my, if my family wanted to find me on YouTube, just type in my name and that's what it is. Last book you read. Um, Love and Misadventures by Lang Leave. Oh my god, if you haven't read this book. It's not a narrative book, it's a poetry book, but if you haven't read it, you need to. Because she just has this way... Oh my god, her talent is just crazy. Like, she brings up all these emotions that people tend to internalize that we don't like to talk about, and she describes it perfectly in short, simple sentences. And I just feel like that takes a lot of talent. The book you're currently reading. I'm currently reading Theater by David Mamet because I am trying to brush up on my technique because I'm planning on auditioning for this play coming up in a month. The last show you watched. The Office. Last person you talked to. My boyfriend. The relationship between you and the last person you texted. He is my boyfriend. What is your favorite food? I like sushi and spaghetti and pretty much any Japanese food because when I was in Japan, I was just in food heaven. A place you want to visit. I want to visit Ecuador. Um, that is where my boyfriend's family currently lives. I want to meet them. I want to see the country. I know they have a rich culture and they have great food. The first time, like when we were seniors, Alec made me this dish that's called Japingachos. Sorry if I butchered that. To anyone who's watching me who's Spanish, I'm so sorry. But it's so good. It's just like, <sighs> amazing. Spanish food is so amazing. The last place you were. I'm guessing this question is asking me the last place that, this place the last place that I visited, like geographically, um, my parents and I just did like a two day road trip across America. So I would say like literally every state from New Jersey and Nevada. Do you have a crush? Uh, I have a crush on my boyfriend. Last time you kissed someone, it's been a while, man. It's been a while. Long distance sucks. Last time you were insulted, I don't know. I don't ever like think of it when someone insults me. I just feel like if someone insults me for the purpose of hurting me, it's like a waste of their time because I don't know. It's, it's like not something I don't have the time to think about that stuff. My favorite flavor of sweet. Sweet. Um, I like green tea anything. So like green tea ice cream, green tea lattes, green tea candy, green tea chocolate. So good. What instruments do you play? I play, <laughs> I can play the guitar and the piano, but I am bad because I don't have, um, like I don't have, I don't have training, so when I play it, it's like literally whatever song I decided to learn off of you. Favorite piece of jewelry? It's my princess ring from my boyfriend. Last sport you played? Is the gym a sport? I'm just kidding. No, I don't play sports. Um, I go to the gym, but I don't have any athletic talent or ability. Last song you sang? Hotline Bling by Drake. And ever since the city I left you, you, you. I'm really annoying. I'm so annoying. Favorite pickup line? Netflix and chill. Have you ever used it? No. Okay, I had to just put my hair up because it's so freaking hot. But the last question is, who do you want these answers to be? Who do you want these questions to be answered by? And I want Marianne, Monica, Sam, Janelle, and yeah, I want you guys to answer these question. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I made it interesting and quick enough for you to just get to know like one or two facts about me. Comment down below if we have any similar interests and I'll see you guys later in my next video. Thank you again so much for watching.